just want to start off by any team news, anything we need to be aware of ahead of Sunday, any update on injuries as well, please. Yeah, uh, Kalo's out, uh, out for the game, so he won't feature. Um, you saw him come off late on in the, uh, well, right at the end of, of the game and he picked up a, a groin injury. And um, uh, Felipe and uh, Danilo both came off as well, at a doubt for the game, so uh, we'll see about them. Still got, got a day. Um, until obviously a day or two until the game, so um, we'll, we'll see how they are. Um, safe from relegation zone. Um, huge relief this week. What has the emotions and spirits been like in the changing room? Yeah, obviously. Um, initially, it was as you just described. It, it was um, um, relief and um, um, you know a really positive emotion. You could see you know the. Uh, the joy that it gave the the supporters and um, and obviously everybody connected with with the team as well. There was no no doubt about that. I mean, um, nobody ever wants to um, be down the bottom of the league, fighting to stay in the league, but it happened. And particularly for um, you know a, a, a promoted team, and in our case, you know we'd been out of the, the league for for you know a couple of decades, over a couple of, of decades. So um, I guess it's I wouldn't say it's normal that you have to fight to stay into the league, but it's certainly something that's um, quite quite common, and then obviously in the way we had to go about it from from the day we got promoted to to this day, it's there's you know there's been so much change at the club, including the the squad and um, uh, and so many other things around it. So um, so there's also uh, a feeling of of satisfaction that um, you know we've had to um, contend with so many things that have haven't happened before and. Um, in terms of the the amount of new players that have come in and etc cetera, etc, cetera. but the you know the boys have managed to get over the line and they they deserve so much credit for that and um, um, and I think for me as the days have sort of um, gone by, it's um, it's really now turned into motivation again about like how we have to improve. Um, it's still a great moment for the supporters. We obviously got a in a really tough game in, at the Palace on Saturday that we really determined to finish off season well in but um and that's where that where our work is at the moment and our and our focus but but I know that um after Saturday you know we need to have a really productive off season you know um obviously the players will rest and a lot of the staff uh, around the players will, will rest and, and and rightly so they need to do that but uh, but the, you know we have to be be busy in the off season in in really trying to to continue to improve the club to what we what we want it to be, and that's being being able to really operate at a, at a high standard in, in in the Premier League. And to do that, you have to get every part of the club right, and um, and that's really what staying in the league has given us. It's given us uh, it's a really important step, um, but it's given us now an opportunity um, uh, to continue to improve. But that's all it is is an opportunity. It's not a guarantee. Um, so we've got to make sure now, like I said, that this becomes a a really busy June in terms of of, of how we uh, improve the club. Um, so when the players come back um, in in pre season, they can see that it's a it's a club that you know wants to to grow with them. Um, and I think if we do that, then we'll hopefully be able to to improve on the pitch as well. We need, certainly need to improve things, and that's obviously my. Um, responsibility, and when, when, when the players come back, you know we'll, we'll take that on. Um, you know we need to grow the playing style. We need to grow some of the things that haven't gone so well this year. Away forms the obvious one to talk about, and lots of other things as well. But hopefully that's a natural progression that we we really want to take advantage of. I'm not going to talk about away form with you guys today. Um, but you mentioned summer there. Um, what is the strategy going into the summer, Steve? Last year you brought, I think it was 20 new players in. Is that going to be the sort of turnaround we're going to see? But what is the strategy going in for you? Well, it's listen, at the moment we've got a couple of days. We've got to play Crystal Palace. We, we really want to um, end well. There's, there's, okay, it's, it's not under the scrutiny it was last week, but it's still our supporters will take every seat. They will pay the money to go down there. Um, we um, we should want to win every game that we play in, anyway, and obviously the, there may be an opportunity to even improve the league position even more. And and when that's the case, then you should always strive to do that because benefits come come with it. And um, so um, um, you know, Palace are going really well, and you know what a job um, Roy Hodgson has done. I mean, an incredible man and um, incredible career. Um, that having 
done management now for a couple of years to think that the longevity and success he's had in the game is is just something that I got so much admiration for. I don't know how he's done it for so long, but um, but it's something that, um, like I said, I, I I got a huge amount of respect and uh, and admiration for. So so um, it's going to be a really tough game. So we have to really focus on that with regards past that to the summer. Um, um, you know, there are plans in place for, like I said, for on the pitch and off the pitch, uh, and but um, both uh, or everything's really important, um, and they will kick in. But um, but obviously, we need to get the game out of the way first before we we really start actioning all of that. Um, one on Morgan Gibbs White, he's really delivered, particularly the latter part of this season. How pleased are you with his performance? And were you surprised he didn't get an England call up? Well, that's. Um, that's not my prerogative, you know, with, with what international, um, you know, managers do. I, I, I've, albeit at the, at the development stage, I've, I've done that, and um, um, you never want to be seen to, to be interfering, and I certainly wouldn't with 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 Gareth, um, but um, but for sure he's played really well for us in his first regular, playing a uh, Premier League, uh, in a season that's been been up and down, of course, and that's been good for him as. As well as all the other younger players within Brennan, Nico, Danilo, um, the guys who were playing in the Premier League for the first first time, the likes of Ryan Yates. Um, so um, it's been, um, um, I think, a really important year for him. For sure, he's had some really really good moments for us, and, and that we've needed, and um, and we're grateful to that. Um, but the best bit about it is, is that. Um, because of the experience of this year and the playing time, he's he's only going to get better and. Uh, and with that in mind, you know, there's, there'll be lots for him to, to strive to achieve. And I know that will be playing for England because I know it's really important to him. But all he's got to do is keep going and hopefully at some stage in the future that will that will come. Um, it has been a remarkable turnaround and you've achieved so much um, in a short space of time, I guess, in the sense of you signed so many new players that were new to the Premier League, but you've also had an unprecedented amount of injuries. Mm. How have you stayed positive and what do you owe that turnaround to? Well, it, I think the the positivity is just pure logic to me that if you're the opposite, then I think it, it rubs off on everybody else. Um, of course, there'll be times where, you know, I might have felt a bit of frustration and a little bit of disappointment and, you know, even a bit of bad luck and things like that. But um, but I know that every time I've, I've stepped foot in here, the training ground and the city ground, um, it, you know, it's a real motivation to be here because you know who you work for and 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 what the club stands for and then for me it's like okay we might be going through a difficult period but it's going to be, need a positive mindset to get to get uh, through it so and then if 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 we can show that as, as staff and then players then I think that can filter through to every everybody else and that's certainly what the fans have given us I mean the fans um, a lot has been said about our support this year from from outside of Nottingham and rightly so I think they've really set a standard in so many ways of particularly supporting the team in the situation that we've been in you know you know you've never seen stadiums empty you've never seen quiet uh, grounds you've you've only we've only ever had constant um 100 percent support um and really been at the, the really uh, very very best when we've been going through maybe a difficult period in a game or or run so uh, so we owe so much to, to the supporters and I'm glad that they're getting the credit that they, they seem to be to be getting and what that does is bring us even closer together you know and that, that will help us going forward next season but but yeah you know like in terms of having the unique situation that we found ourselves in with the um, the amount of turnaround in players for me I, and I've said quite openly it became one of my biggest motivations and drivers to show that we that we can still take the next step and the next step I, 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 I'm not calling it an, an achievement because you can't at a club like this because of because of what's happened in, in, in the past but an important step yes staying in the Premier League massive massively important step because like I said it, it, it allows us an opportunity to grow even more um, and um, to, to make that important step in the way that we had to do with all the new players coming in um, like I said is really really satisfying because um, it's something that's not been done before and um, maybe it was looked at that um, it was only going to end in one way, um, but we've managed to to end it in a different way, and um, and that's good. However, my overriding feeling is how do we improve? How do we get better? I want the I want the fans to enjoy the moment. 
um, you know, and look forward to the last game against Palace where we're going to do everything to make it a positive day. I'm really pleased they've got the summer to look forward to now where the fixtures coming out are going to be the Premier League and everything that comes with the Premier League. The supporters deserve that more than anything. But my, my focus and um, mentality has to be on uh, not standing still and, and trying to improve in the areas that we need to. Final one from me. There's been a bit of speculation on the future of Navos and Dean Anderson. Can you confirm whether we'll see them next season? Steve. Well, we haven't had um, conversations with um, with anybody, to be honest. Um, um, but it was uh, uh, it was about obviously up until the final whistle, at Arsenal it was make, trying to stay in the Premier League, and then there's one more game to play, and we, we we've determined to finish well. I've said that a couple of times now, but we really are, and I've seen a real good um, intent in training this week, uh, which has uh, pleased me again. Um, and then, like I said, you know, let's. Let's finish as, as well as we can, give everything we've, we've got to that, see the players off and then, you know, um, we can start having some conversations about what's next then. Thanks for your time. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Steve. Um, congratulations, of course. I'm securing survival with a game left to play. Um, the game, of course, away at Crystal Palace this weekend. Given your main goal has already been achieved, you've just touched on you want to end the season on a high, but what other motivations do you have ahead of your final game this season? Um, we need to be ready for, for a tough game. Um, for us, as I said, it's about um, trying to finish well. There's going to be a lot of support to spend a lot of money in travelling down to to Crystal Palace and we always have to respect that by, by giving them everything we've got to try and give the, the result that everybody wants. There's a chance maybe um, to um, improve the league position and when there's a chance to do that you should always strive to do it and um, and if we do improve a league position then there will be benefits for the club and um, you know we don't take that lightly so um, so okay it's not the scrutiny like last week I accept but there's still more than enough on the game for us to go down there knowing that we have to do well. Yeah, how nice is it not to have that scrutiny on you for this game then? Nice, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's been over a, sort of, a little while now. Um, and and now, now it's happened and we've got through it. You know, there's so much to take from it that will only help us get better because, you know, it, it, we can all get better through good moments, but it's probably getting through the bad moments that um, end up defining what you end up being. Um, so um, so now we've managed to do it and uh, like I said we're still one more game that we, we're hugely committed to but now we've managed to get through a, a, a season that's been very up and down there's been so much to learn from it to, to help us, us grow as a club which is what we want to do Yeah of course you mentioned it there but, but you said after the win over Arsenal that it's so important that you keep building what have you learned and what experiences can, can you and the team and even the background staff take forward to keep this club building and taking it to where you want it to be so so much really, and 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 if I was to list everything, we'd be here um, for for a couple of hours. I just think that everything has to be at the very highest level, you know, in terms of games and on the pitch and all the the um, the intricacies of of what a Premier League game can can give you. Um, obviously, the the scrutiny that's on the games and and the, the spotlight that's on on the games and 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 everything else surrounding um, a club situation. Um, and then the operational side is the stuff that not many people see behind the scenes is, is, has got to be of, you know, a Premier League standard, you know, and whether that's facilities, infrastructure, um, staffing, um, you know, we, we've got to have an expectation and a mentality that everything has to be at a, at a really high level. And so much has had to happen since we got promoted because of 20 odd years in the championship. Um, but what, like I said, what we've what we've done by getting through this season is giving ourselves an opportunity now, to um, to be able to build. But as I said before, it's only an opportunity, and and what you've got to do with opportunities is taken, and that's that's what our mindset has to be. Is it important to want to kind of thrive off pressure in this league as well? Then I don't think you have much choice, to be honest. Um, it's definitely something that you have to deal with because, okay, our pressures have been very different to. Um, ones at um at the other end of the league or going for Europe or um you know anything else that may be an objective that is there's I think there's very few um occasions in this in this league where there's not something to reach or, or something to play for. And with that in the Premier League I think comes pressure. So um if you're not able to handle it, 
and then as you said thrive in it and relish the challenge then it, it can it can it can catch you for sure um uh, and that's another thing that you had any question before about you know what 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 is it about the premier league it's just there's just no room for error you know you just have to be at your very best in every way shape or form um all of the time um and that's what we we've got to, we've got to aim now to be a club that we can be able to do that Finally, for me, then, um, just how excited are you to be an integral part of that process, moving the club forward from here? Well, um, I, I it, it, nothing changes for me in, from the first day I, wa- I walked in. This is just about trying to be uh, fully aware of your responsibilities and and then um, being completely obsessed with being the best that you can be. Um, and that fundamentally for me is is coaching the team and and preparing the players um, to be in the best possible position to go go and win games and then there's obvious things that go with that with the players who are not in the team or injuries and the staffing structure around the performance um of the team you know is is, is something he's managing as well but for me it's just give everything and, and be the best you can be but really believe in yourself you know really believe that, that you you can um operate at a at, you know a, a premier league level as well and um that's that's where my focus is you know is just um just every day um, you know, be the best version and, um, you know, hopefully you don't let anybody down, especially the fans.